Hi, what's your name, what's your role, what do you do here? Right, so I'm Mrs Gunsley um, and I'm the curriculum leader for the English department. Yeah. What do you like about the Romsey School? The Romsey School for me is a school that's got quite a lot of heart about it. Um, mm. It's somewhere that I, I want to come to work every day. I've been here for, it's my ninth year. Um, it's somewhere I enjoy coming. Um, I've got a fantastic team of English teachers. Um, uh, the, the students here, I think, are very much work with us to, to try and do their best on a daily basis. And that's a great thing. So as an English teacher, you must read? Absolutely, yes, whenever I can. Uh, what's your favourite book to get money on? Oh, to choose one would be really, really difficult, yeah. to be honest. Um, as, personally, I, I love a good crime novel. Um, I like a detective novel, a bit of blood and gore, I'm afraid. However, obviously, not necessarily in school. For teaching, one of my favourite novels would be Lord of the Flies, which we do for GCSE, um, which is an amazing novel. That would make my top ten personal novels, whether I teach it or not. Hi sir, what's your name and what is your role here at Romsey School? Uh, my name is Richard Wilcock and I'm Head of Design and Technology at Romsey School. Okay, so we know that you've been here for a long time, so uh, what actually keeps you here? What do you like about our school? Yeah, I've been here for many years. I actually came here as a pupil myself, um, so I've spent just about my whole life at Romsey School. Um, Romsey School is a fantastic place. The opportunities that are here for both staff and pupils are just amazing. Um, I work in an amazing department. Um, it's really popular in this school. We're always busy. Um, I've got a tremendous team behind me and it's just a really, really great place to work. So what are the different areas of design technology? Well, we've got uh, numerous areas. Um, we have the traditional timbers sort of area, like the old woodwork. Um, we also do some metal work and plastics as well. There's also textiles. We're moving into a more kind of electronic systems area at the moment as well, so and there's lots of CAD design, there's lots of um, computer-aided drawing going on. Um, we also do electronics, we also do graphics, um, so it's a very, very, oh, and food as well, so there's, it's a very, very, um, very busy with lots of opportunities sort of area at school. Hi Miss, so what is your name and what department do you work in at the Romsey School? Hi, um, so my name is Miss Clark and I am the Head of Creative Arts at the Romsey School, which means I lead an amazing team um, across music, art, drama, media, stagecraft and dance. Oh wow. Six subjects. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've been here for quite a while, what does keep you going at the school? Why am I still here? Because I love my job and I wouldn't be here if I didn't, I guess. Um, I love the pupils, I love the environment, I love teaching, uh, I'm a drama teacher, and that's my first specialism, and I love being in that classroom with pupils and just working with them. I love the creativity. Um, I love that you can have some really great conversations. <laughs> so although you guys are pupils, it's like sometimes, it's like you're adults and, and, and you challenge me and, and the other way as well, like vice versa. I love teaching. I love um, developing myself as well as a mm -hmm. member of staff here. And we've got, you know, a great staff team, my faculty. And so when we talk about kind of students being a family, there is an element of, you know, Romsey, the Romsey School becomes your family too. Um, in drama, we've got really great results and worked really, really hard at that. Um, and I think the important thing is, is uptake too. Creative arts is so important and the Romsey School really, really values the arts. And from that, you know, there's, there's no pattern. So there's no, you know, it's not like, oh, well, it's only girls or we've got a 50-50 mm -hmm. split of boys and girls. We offer GCSEs in all of the areas, which is great, even in stagecraft now, which is amazing. Um, and from that, we've got really great results where students now go on beyond school to, you know, to into the industry and yeah. not just on stage, it's not about that. Okay, sir, please introduce yourself and your role at the school. My name is Daniel Lee and I am the Head of Humanities. So, can you give us some more information about what Humanities is? Well, the Humanities Faculty is the History Department, Geography Department, RE, Sociology and the SHE. Mm -hmm. So, it's all of the subjects are about the, uh, the human experience. What is your favourite thing about the Romsey School? My favourite thing about the Romsey School, I would say, it, uh, you hear it a lot, but it's a very caring school, but that is absolutely true. I've mm -hmm. been here for 14 years. 
and it's an incredibly happy place to work. Mm -hmm. um, staff are looked after and the pupils are looked after. I couldn't be happier. My favourite moment in history <laughs> would definitely be uh, the release of Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club in 1967. I was a massive Beatles fan. And I love history that's positive and that's a great record. So if you could give one piece of advice to a pupil joining our school, what would it be? I would say, enjoy your learning as much as possible. Don't worry about your grades. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy the learning, the excitement of finding stuff out, the confusion of education. Because all the answers won't be here, but you might be given clues for the rest of your life. Yeah. And I think that's what education is about. Hi sir, what's your name and what is your role at Romsey School? Okay, so my name is Mr Wilbraham and I'm the Head of Science here at the Romsey School. So I sort out uh, all the stuff that we teach in science, try and uh, arrange everybody's different practicals um, and get everybody ready to, for, for the wide world beyond the school. So what do you enjoy about the Romsey School? Oh, I love this school. I mean, I've been here for nearly 20 years and I would not have stayed around this long if the school wasn't amazing. So the kids are really good. Um, you know, a lot of kids who, who go to schools hear scary stories about moving up to big school. It's nothing like that at this place. Everybody's really helpful to each other. Um, the staff are excellent, really expert, and the staff care so much. We care that you grow up into really good, sensible adults, but you can have fun, that you're looked after. Uh, but also we're really good at getting you really good grades as well. Uh, and so loads of kids from this school go off and get great jobs and get rich and amazing. So that's why I love this school. Have you ever done an experiment which has gone wrong? You see, but science is, you can have things go wrong and it's fine. Science is all about getting things wrong because then you look at it and go, oh, that's gone wrong, why did it go wrong? Let's try and find out why it went right. So um, I think one of the scariest things that ever happened to me was, uh, it was at uh, a parents' evening actually, you know, an open evening, and uh, we usually set fire to these bowls of gas and we put some foam in there and we set fire to it. And we have to do it in a really careful way so that we keep everybody away from it until it's safe to set fire to it. Well, we had one really excited little lad who was bouncing, so excited to set fire to it that as I was leaning into it to fill it up, he just put the, the flame into it and the flame went all over me. And uh, luckily I'm hard, I'm from Stoke, so it didn't damage me. Uh, but I think that's, that's the, the scariest one that's ever happened. Tell me your name and your role here at the Romsey School. So my name is Mr Runham. joined the school in 2019, having taught for a number of years at other schools, both in and outside the Southampton area. And so tell us, why do you love the Romsey School? For me personally, uh, it's, the, it's the staff that make one of the biggest differences. The maths department is actually quite a large team in itself, and there is a lot of experience within that team. So for, for me, that was, that was useful to actually come into a team with a lot of experience as opposed to being the most experienced teacher in that particular team. Uh, it's nice for me to kind of like share ideas with other people rather than people coming to me all the time for ideas. Um, we're very supportive of each other, we, we do what most teams do, we talk, we talk about work a lot of the time, we talk about just anything we feel like at a particular time as well, but there's a lot of sharing in the team as well of ideas and resources and also just different, different, different ways of doing things. Tell us something interesting about maths at the Romsey School. So at the moment, the Romsey School are, are implementing a mastery style curriculum. Now this involves liaising with several schools and organisations outside of our outside of Romsey School itself, uh, in particular White Rose Maths and the National Centre for Excellence in Teaching Mathematics. In fact, one of our members of staff actually leads the regional hub for the for, for the White Rose Maths hubs in this area. So it's, it's actually useful having, having someone like that within our team who can see what other secondary schools are doing, but also take our own expertise, excuse me, selling ourselves a bit there, um, and, and letting, other schools, letting other schools use that to improve what they're delivering for maths as well. Now this, this, is, this is a big project. Um, at the moment we have one year group who in particular 
have already had a year as year eight. Our year seven are going through the second year of this. And in line with many schools in the country that have moved to a more market style of teaching, we're finding that we're, we're actually rewriting what we did last year simply to improve on it and to make it even better than it was. So in four years' time, every student at the Romney School will have followed a mastery style curriculum from year seven through to year 11. Um, the results nationally show that this makes a huge impact on students' learning, achievement, and most importantly, their understanding of mathematics as a subject. Could you tell us your name and your role here at the Romsey School? Hola, bonjour, uh, guten tag, hello. I am Miss Dupuy, and I am the uh, second in department here at the Romsey School. And what can you tell us about the languages you can study here? So you can study French from Year 7, that's the only one we offer at the moment in Year 7 and Year 8. And then starting in Year 9, you can uh, start German or Spanish for one hour a week. And then at GCSE, you can study French, German or Spanish. And there's also a Latin club after school. And what do you love about the Romsey School? Uh, I love the fact that it's a very multicultural school. Uh, we have lots of first, diff different first languages, so obviously French, uh, but we also have lots of students that speak different languages at home and then they bring in their culture, their views of the world. So I really like that about Romsey. It makes it a very diverse place. 